Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed, I'm Kayla Bame and you should really think about subscribing to my channel because the greatest things happen when you do that. So subscribe. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a canvas painting. I have not painted on a canvas in so long and I used to do uh, time-lapse videos. This isn't going to be a time-lapse video. I'm actually going, I guess you could call it a tutorial. I'm not a professional painter. I just kind of wing it, okay? So I have no proper techniques. My brush strokes aren't uh, proper. The paint and mixing paint isn't pro Nothing about the way that I do my art is professional or proper or even right. So. I don't really know what I'm doing, but somehow when I do stuff, it looks good. So, <laughs> today's video, I'm going to be showing you this abstract thunder and lightning background for a painting. It's super cool, I think, but we'll, we'll see how well I can explain it, okay? I'm going to try very hard to be professional Kayla and explain it to the best of my abilities so you guys if you need an abstract lightning background for a painting or something you know how to do it so let's do it okay party people to start off this abstract background painting thing that I'm doing I'm using the color pavement by Apple Barrel I don't use fancy paints okay Paint is very expensive and I paint a lot. So I just use Apple Barrel and CraftSmart because it's cheap and budget friendly and if I used more expensive paint, I would have no more money left. So this is the paint that I'm using. There's nothing wrong with Apple Barrel paint, but like even a color like pavement, it's a dark color. You might need to do two or three layers just to make sure it's fully covered but that's the only issue with cheap paint like that so it's not a big deal for me I'll do multiple layers but yeah pavement is going to be the main background color of our background and I don't really know what to call this background it is abstract and there's gonna be lightning and stuff, so I'm calling it an abstract lightning background. This isn't the only thing that I'm doing for this painting. There is going to be something on top of it. That's gonna be another video, but this is just a cool lightning abstract background that I'm doing for another piece, and I thought I would film it and do a little voiceover for you guys, you know? Then I took the colors Terracotta by Craftsmart and Lavender by Americana. I don't know where I got this brand from. This isn't a normal brand that I buy. So I don't know where that paint came from. Anyway, I am taking those two colors and while the background paint is still wet, I am putting some of this Terracotta over. This, I guess, is what's going to make the piece abstract. Listen, I'm not a professional artist. I barely even know what abstract painting is. But I think this would classify as something that's abstract. So that's just what we're calling it. If it's not abstract, I'm sorry. How many times have I said abstract in the last two minutes? Someone put a total for me. Anyway, I'm just using a small brush and making lines with the orange paint on the top and then I'm gonna go on the bottom and make purple lines going upwards to make this cool little orange and purple line. I don't know. I think it looks cool. Also, for blending purposes, it is important that the background is wet for this part, so the pavement color that I put as the base coat wasn't fully dry. It just makes it easier for the paint to blend, so it's not super pigmented. Because I didn't want the orange to be the most pigmented, I kind of wanted it to look a little faded with the pavement. So, 
the background was still wet for this part just so it made the blending easier for me. So basically for this piece, there's just going to be a whole bunch of fun colors. Basically the same thing I'm doing here with the orange. It's just going to be a whole bunch of fun colors on top of the pavement base color. Um, orange, purple, green, blue. There's just going to be a whole bunch of fun colors. So I put a little bit of orange on the left, a little bit of orange on the right, and then some purple on the left. Um, this also isn't something I came up with on the top of my head. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be putting something on top of this. So I'm not going to show the reference picture that I used just yet because then it's going to ruin the surprise of what I'm putting on top. But I used a reference picture for this background. This isn't my background. It's not my original art. So yeah. Now I'm taking the color Pale Daffodil by Apple Barrel. This is a really pretty light yellow color. And this is going to go basically in between the two orange colors that I had placed. And it's going to fill up this whole middle part of the canvas. Going kind of all the way up, tapering down just so you could still see that pavement color. And I did do this at different times, so to help with the blending, I just painted some more pavement just so it was wet enough for me to blend the yellow in. Very cool stuff, you guys, okay? I'm really like, nobody taught me how to paint, okay? So if you're looking at my painting skills right now and you're like, wow, your brush strokes are really uneven. Yeah, they probably are. I'm self-taught. Nobody taught me how to do this. I just go with the flow and go with, go with what feels right for me. So yeah, this isn't proper technique or anything. I don't know any proper techniques. I just go with it and uh, make art that I enjoy. So don't come after me for my, my lack of skill, okay? Then I took the color Lime Tree, also by Apple Barrel, and I just started blending this. It's kind of like a neon green almost. It's a super bright green. I started blending this into the yellow. Um, these are cool colors to kind of fit with lightning. The reference picture is so cool, okay? I wish I could show you guys, but I can't. I don't want to ruin the surprise. But basically, I am blending this green into the yellow, and if I put too much green, I keep going back and forth, adding a little bit more yellow, then a little bit more green, just to blend it in so it's not so harsh first time around. Because sometimes, you know, when you put a new color on top, like those lines are super harsh, and I didn't want it to be super harsh, I wanted it to look nice and blended. So I would add a little bit more yellow on top of the green just to make it look less pigmented and less harsh and for some reason i didn't show this color i believe it's called key west by apple barrel it's a super light bright blue i don't know why i didn't show it but this is another color that i'm adding into this area on top of the green on top of the yellow blending those three colors together I think it's super cool looking so far. I don't know, just all these bright colors all over the place on top of a dark background just looks super cool to me. So yeah, I'm just blending these three colors together and um, yeah. Whole family was home when I was doing this too, so. And after I was happy with the way that I blended all of the colors, I decided it was time to move on to the lightning. Um, for the middle part of the lightning, I'm just using white. Pretty sure it was a Craftsmart white. There was no special name. It was just white. So originally, I had already done this background and I was very close to being finished with it and catastrophe happened as it usually does when I make videos. Uh, the painting fell and completely ripped the canvas. I'm also making this for my friend, so I didn't want to try and fix the canvas because I am giving it to somebody, so I wanted to make sure 
it was nice and perfect. But anyway, that's, you could see I'm using a reference from the other painting that I had done that got ruined. It didn't end up looking like that. I went a little crazy with the lightning, but that's okay. I'm just using white to make lightning, and lightning super jagged and all over the place, so I went crazy, kind of ended up looking like tree branches a little bit, but I think towards the end I ended up fixing it, so yeah, didn't really have a method for the lightning, just kind of went crazy. Then I used the color Sunny Day. That's such a cute face that I was making, I know. It's uh, Sunny Day by Apple Barrel. Um, I wanted to add some yellow lightning as well because in the reference picture that I had, there was yellow lightning in the corner next to the white lightning. So that was the color I used for this one. And I know it kind of looks like tree branches, it's fine, I kind of went wild, I don't know what happened, I just really enjoyed making the lightning for some reason. And then for the last of the lightning, there was lightning on the right side as well as the left. This lightning, I did uh, the sunny day yellow and then faded it into the white lightning. Um, it just looked like that's how it was done in the reference picture. I thought it looked kind of cool too, so that's why I faded it into white. Started off with the yellow, then went into the white lightning. Then I used the color Blue Cotton by Apple Barrel, and for this color, I am outlining all of the white lightning. The yellow lightning, I used a different color. I think I, I used the same green I used earlier, the, li the lime tree or whatever it was called. But this blue, I'm using to outline all of my white lightning because lightning glows, you know, it's light, it glows. And outlining it with this blue, I think, gave it a cool effect to it. It made it look less boring, and it made it pop just a little bit more. So I think outlining it in the blue color and using the green for the yellow kind of made it stand out more and made it look a lot cooler than it was just being plain white and yellow. So here I am doing the green for the yellow lightning, outlining it in green. It fits, okay. I will say this was my least favorite part of the painting. Not that it doesn't look cool, I think it ended up looking really, really cool. It was just a super long process and kind of tedious, uh, especially because I was using cheaper paint like Apple Barrel. It required a few coats. I think I ended up doing like three coats for the lightning and then three coats for the outline as well. And it took a very, very long time. Like I'm speeding up the clips and cutting, cutting stuff out for you guys. But uh, when I tell you this lightning probably took me a total of like four hours, it took me so long because I needed to do so many coats. But you know, it was worth it in the end, so it's fine. It's a sacrifice for beautiful art, okay? But after all of those coats, it was done. That was the background. This is the abstract background. That is the completed background, but this is not the completed project. There will be something going on top. So if you want to see what I put on top of this really cool lightning background, you better subscribe and wait for that video to come out. All right. But it's cool. All right. So cool. All right. That is it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below what you thought of this background. Also, stick around for a while. Oh my gosh, I'm KB Creation. Stick around a while. <laughs> 
But if you stick around a while, okay KB? You stick around for a while, you can see what I'm planning on painting over this background. This isn't it, it's not just this background. There's gonna be something on top of it. So, you wait around on my channel for a little bit, subscribe and hit that bell, it'll notify you when I post that video, okay? <laughs> but, I'll see you guys back here next time.